Need to Breathe has the new documentary coming out called Into the Mystery, Need to Breathe Into the Mystery. So exciting. It's so fun to be able to see sort of a behind the scenes look at what you guys do because we really haven't seen that before. So what can fans expect from this documentary? Yeah, it's interesting. You know, our, our, I think our half of our um, thing with, with you know, the band is a little bit of mystery. We, you know, and no pun intended because that's our record title, but um, we, <laughs> we definitely like to keep the curtain up in some ways. We don't always like to, uh, to show up all of our cards. Um, and so I think for us to be able to do a record like this, where we went to a house, we quarantined for three weeks and made a record, lived together, uh, cooked breakfast in the morning, spent the whole day together um and had a good time making it uh, and to, to for the band for the band to do that it just felt right to like let the fans in on that so um we brought in a film crew had no idea that it would be a film we just thought it'd be like to back behind the scenes stuff you know um and it ended up being a beautiful picture of what the record is um, um i've seen the film numerous times uh through edits and and also for enjoyment just show some friends and stuff and every time i just am so proud of of, of what it is it's it's a I think it's a really good picture of where the band's at and definitely kind of lets the fans in um I guess kind of behind the curtain a little bit talk about some of the challenges you face though creating an album in the middle of a pandemic both emotionally and even creatively yeah I mean I think that you know for for us from the emotional side of things you know we were coming off of, we were all you know husbands and dads and you know we're you know, we, we want to be as safe as we can. You know, I remember I have this very vivid memory of, of like walking around with a, one of those digital thermometers and just like walking around being like, all right, you're good. You're good. Just like walking around the house. Cause I'm like, I got kids and I just want to make sure I'm not, I'm, I'm being safe, but also for them. So it was just like this really weird time. And also there was just so much going on in the world. I'll never forget just like um, at night, just like turning on the news or something being like, man, there's just so much, it's that there's a heaviness around. Um, and so we felt like at, at the beginning of the pandemic, in some ways, it was kind of like, we didn't know if we were going to have a job or not. We we're like, all of us kind of looking at each other like, I, you know, this was fun, but we're going to have to probably go figure something else out because I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. And then, you know, around the time we were making that record, I think that we all kind of realized what our job actually was. And we're just like, we're going in to make records that, you know, kind of get help people through this, if not ourselves, but also other people. Um, you know, even if it's just for enjoyment, it's like, man, we what we get to do is entertain people and give people a sense of, you know, some, you know, that there's there's hope or whatever it is. You know, we just felt like that our our jobs for maybe the first time were like, oh yeah, these this is important. What we're doing is important. So it definitely felt like that during this record. Yeah. So you guys quarantined together for several weeks. I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a long time to be together. What were some things you guys learned about each other, about yourselves, and maybe about God during that process? Yeah, it was a long time. I mean, like we toured together, um, but we can also go places. So like we'll be on the bus and, and then we'll get to the town and everybody will just like disperse. But we were together the whole time um, and no one, no one really left. Um, so we learned, um, we learned a lot about um our each other i think that you know every day we'd work so we knew what we were we were coming to work but also um at, at the end of the day our our tour manager um uh, or he's kind of our tour manager he's also just kind of our like bodyguard uh pseudo like i don't know what you would call him he's just he's just the guy that's always around he's the yeah, godfather of, the godfather of need to breathe um uh he's our like our dad he's younger than us but anyway he would always uh um after at the end of the day he'd go make a bonfire outside and and we'd all sit around and hang out and talk about the day talk about our kids talk about life um uh, and talk about god i mean i think that there's just so much about like um you know what need to breathe is um is about honesty and like where we're at and i think all of us you know having the chance to be around people um you know, we'd all been kind of by ourselves for a long time as the whole world was at that point. So to be able to sit around and talk about our, our fears and our, our victories and things that we, things that are important to us, it was just really good for the soul. I think it actually now listening to the record, I think you can hear that sense of community, at least I can, uh, of like just a bunch of people that are just, you know, really trying to be vulnerable with each other. And, and yeah, it was, it was a really sweet time. 
a theme that's been really consistent throughout your music for, for, for years is our utter dependency on God and incapability of doing anything ourselves, just how much we need him. I think that is something that people really discovered during the pandemic, just how helpless we are. So what encouragement do you want to offer people who listen to this album and they're like, I'm helpless, God, I need you. Um, what do you want these listeners to take away? Yeah, I think that, you know, what's great about what we've been able to do is, you know, we write music for, for so many different kinds of people. And I, I know that a lot of people find encouragement, um, you know, with, with this. It's funny because some of the songs that we write um, that are from a faith perspective are most of the time, um, they, they are the, it's the questions, it's the doubts. It's the, it's like, where am I at? What am I doing? This is crazy, makes no sense. Um, and what's great about Need to Breathe, I think is, in my opinion, is we never give the resolution, which is, which is kind of funny. Like we always just ask the question. And what that, I think the reason for that is, you know, we never got into this job or this, this career uh, to try to teach anybody anything. We've just always been like, uh, we want to be honest and know like, hey, you know, you're struggling, so am I. Or like, you have doubts, so do I. Um, but I do feel like uh, there is a sense of a confidence in, um, in, in the question and asking, you know, you know, where, where am I, where am I at? Who am I? Just like those questions right there. Just the fact that you're asking it, I think you're on the right page or on the right path to something. So uh, if, if there could be any encouragement to anyone is, is, is that, and you don't have to have it all together to, to, to figure anything out. Like, I think just the fact that you're asking the question is, 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 is good and continue to ask the questions. I think, I think with that, you know, I learned a lot just by being, like I said, like in community with other people that were asking questions and, and, and um, I felt a little bit of more, a little bit more of a confidence knowing that I wasn't alone in that. So um, for me, that's been, that's been helpful. And I hope that people find that when they listen to our music and they all, I hope that, you know, that's always the case for a Need to Breathe band. That's incredible. I love that. I do think your music gives a safe place to ask questions, which is what the church should be, right? And that's biblical. That's what Thomas did. Mm -hmm. He had questions. He doubted. Mm -hmm. um, so I love that your music has always provided space to do that for people. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's an entering, interesting place to be. You know, we have, we have friends in all different genres of music. We have friends in country music and rock music and CCM, all everything. And it's interesting. Like, I don't know of many, I mean, many, uh, you know, artists and bands that get to have the kind of world that we live in. Like, you know, we, we've never, you know, you're not going to, you're not going to hear us necessarily on country radio, but you're not necessarily going to hear us um, on your mainstream con uh, Christian radio. So like, we're very in the, in a weird spot, but it's a really great spot. Like we're protective of that because I feel like, um, you know, we, we try to be as real as we can. We're not trying to put anything on. Um, and, and that's kind of, that's kind of nice. You get to just kind of be real people and, 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 and people, I think respect that, which is kind of nice. That's so great. Well, speaking of, you have songs with Carrie Underwood and with John Foreman of Switchfoot. What was it yeah. like recording with these people? I mean, they're, they're incredible. Y'all are incredible. This is a marriage made in heaven, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's cool. You know, like John, we've known for a long time. We've been, you know, we all grew up listening to Switchfoot. Uh, you know, it's crazy when you think about that. Like they were, they were kind of kids when they first started. So like we were, you know, a little older than them but not really that much older. Um, so we would be, we were learning how to play guitar to switch with songs. So um, and we've toured together now and we've done some shows together and they're just the sweetest people in the world. Like the, the kindest, most genuine um, people you could meet. So we always, we wanted to do something with them for a long time. Um, and it just kind of, it was a beautiful thing. Bear had a song that he wrote, uh, he started writing and sent, sent it to him and uh, to John. And then within 30 minutes, he wrote the rest of the song. And, and um, so the story goes. And so he came to the house and recorded it. And, and it was really fun. It was just fun to hang out with him. He's had a lot of stories, sat around the fire and talked about the early days of Switchfoot and all the stuff that crazy stuff that happened with them. And then Carrie was an interesting thing too. Bear actually uh, sang on Carrie's uh, hymns record that she did. And, um, and through that became friends. And we kind of, we kind of joked, we were like, 
I wonder if she would sing on I Need to Breathe record. They're like, there's no way she would do it. Um, and she, we mentioned it and she was like, oh yeah, I'd love to do it. And she was so great about it. Did, did all the things that, you know, um, that, that go into a, a collaboration. We did a music video. We did, you know, acoustic versions and all this stuff. She's always, she's been so sweet about it. And then we actually played the CMT awards uh, where we were the artist and she was our guest for the thing. And she's the most decorated CMT artist of all time. So for her to, to give up her performance slot to just feature with us was pretty, pretty awesome and, and pretty cool. So she, it, it was, it's been fun. I mean, we, I, mean I, I think moving to Tennessee, I've been in Tennessee forever, but a lot of the guys have moved to Tennessee, getting to collaborate with people and just know that there's such a community and sense of um, working together. It's been really fun to get to, to explore that and, 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 and meet a lot of new people in the process. That's awesome. Now, Josh, do you yeah. have a favorite song on this new album? I couldn't pick one. I think they're all incredible. I have a couple. You know, it's 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 interesting. Like, I've been living with it for a little while. Uh, there's a song on the record, and I'll say it now, but uh, there's a song on the record called Sitting in the Backseat uh, that when Bear wrote it, I, I said, our band can never record this song. <laughs> I said, this is this sounds not like our band it does not work it sounds too something it's just not what we would do um but then everybody around us was reacting to it like this is the song this is the one that everybody, everybody loves and so we went in and we tried to like rework it and try to make it more need to breathe and i still wasn't convinced and then of course i bring the record home after we're done with it and um my kids love the song they are obsessed with it that's the only one they want to listen to um and through that love that they have for the song i've learned to appreciate how great of a song it is and songwriting in it and so it it what's great about music and is just like the song that i thought was going to be my least favorite it's probably my, my favorite now um so yeah sit in the back seat it's pretty it's just nostalgic uh it's uh you know it just it's just it just brings you back to simpler times so so ultimately, what is your hope for this new album that came out July 31st and for this forthcoming documentary? What do you want your listeners, your fans to take away from it? Yeah, I hope people see a bunch of real people and guys that, you know, that, you know, for us, we, you know, grew up wanting to be musicians and play in a band and, and we get to live that dream. And, and, and that's an amazing thing. You know, we, we, we don't, we're not perfect and we don't have it all together, but um, you know, this feels like a time where we were able to go make a record together. Um, and we really was conflict free. We didn't fight, which is, you know, kind of a rare thing for our band. We've, we've always fought a lot. And we've been pretty honest about that. Um, but we went into it kind of open minded, open handed. And, and through that, I think we created something that um, that we're going to be proud of for a long time. So I'm really excited that the fans get to see that, not just hear it, but they get to see uh, that we're not just blowing smoke when we talk about it. I think that every interview that we've done, we always talk about uh, how fun it was and it was just sweet time. And I'm sure that just some fans are just like, okay, whatever, we get it, we get it. You're just trying to sell it. But I think getting to see it, I hope that people are like, oh man, no, this is really different. This is something special and I'm glad they filmed it. So I, you know, I think it's, it's a time capsule of a, of a really sweet moment of our, uh, in our careers, in our, in our band, and I can't wait for people to see it. All right, Josh, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you so much. See you uh -huh. later.